I think it's funny, I just cannot say that over and over again. <laughs> I, I can't be like Skippy Glockenheimer with another confirm like every 30 seconds. But alright, going into this, yeah, we got Bubble Watso versus Thorn. We're going to see Crowd here again because, as I said, Bubble Watso is from Fort Wayne, so all their boys will definitely be pulled oh, yeah. for him here. And so far, uh, Thorn's already boosted up a ton, already has Accelerado and the Psych up. Okay, well, we, I wanted the platform, I guess. Yeah, playing super close up is going to be very beneficial for Ken, trying to get those combos. A lot of the time it's off of... Oh my god! Crit already? That's how we start? That's a we're start? We're 30 seconds in! I was uh, commentating with uh, SSB Kid yesterday. They were telling yeah. me about a set they called where they called three crits correctly. Like, they no charge into uh, like a smash deck and they're like, crit, and then it would happen. So, uh, maybe we get some of that luck here. But that Shoryu is going to take it there. That's like the crit never happened. True, yeah, I mean, firing back immediately, so only a minute in, and uh, with these guys able to find a stock, I think, like, playing super close up, finding those down tilts to get the combo started is going to be beneficial for Ken, but I feel like Hero with that menu, if you're just, like, top decking consistently, has a lot of really good burst options to catch Ken off guard. I'm, like, so worried about, like, the, the whack and the whack and all of those, too, because they can take your stock at zero, so you do have to be kind of on guard, um, and especially with using a lot of the, uh, the neutral B from Ken is going to be a great way to find your way in, but if we have bounce up, that kind of negates that whole thing. Ooh, catching that. I feel yeah. like nobody ever finds that. I was going to say, that, that's the lucky roll right there. Like, yeah. Hero's definitely getting lucky with the crits, but I guess getting lucky on that, too. Oh, trying to come in there with the down air, trying to set up another Shoryu combo. Isn't able to get it so far, and Lance just behind him. Gosh, they're just playing so well right next to him. The spin kick is not going to be enough to take it, though. Yeah. Will he catch another zoom? Not quite. Yeah, still able to hold on to that stock, but going to see it. Ooh, okay. Oh, my Lots gosh. Lots of shield pressure there. Oh, Ooh. it's back here through the thwack. You he are not going to take that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Stared death in the face and said, I'm coming in either way. And so much damage with a re-grab, too. Already up to 55 on Thorn's last stock. That's to find a way around Ken at ledge. Gets the good grab, though. Yeah, I love the movement that we're seeing from Bubba as well with the uh, the focus cancels. Able to find that one too, landing towards center stage. And yeah, just catching the jump from ledge immediately. Uh, kicked straight in the face. Yeah, taking a solid game right there. It's important to know with like uh, all of uh, Hero's moves, all of them are single hits, so focus will just go through everything that he yeah. throws out. So that's going to let a lot of good landings happen for him. And we'll see if he can continue to capitalize on it going forward. Yeah, so looks like going Hollow Bastion for this game, too. Uh, I'm not sure how we'll really play into the matchup, but yeah, both these players, I'm assuming, are just going to be in the charge space the whole time. Yeah. Ken did not let the menu come up, and uh, Thorn's going to be in there just to kill a 30. Get another no, crit, I mean, hopefully. That first stock was insane, just immediately finding that up smash on the platform. Ooh, I feel like you never get the Gummy Shake theme. I'm excited. Oh, yeah, this is a good song, yeah. It's so weird, dude. Like, uh, every time I see a song come on the stage, I'm like, am I allowed to listen to this right now? Do we have to turn off stream real quick? Do I have to put my playlist on while we play yeah. this game? But it uh, looks like it's going to be okay with this one. Already. Ooh, Ooh good reset. Ooh. Spin. Oh, my gosh. And the panic air dodges are coming out. It's so scary getting hit by those tilts with... Uh, by Ken there, and oh, going up there doesn't get the confirm to assure you off the up air though. And you do have to be really careful in these situations. You see that Bubba's flashing shield a lot as well. It does have that up yet a shield as a great punish option and a kill option too. So uh, we're gonna have to see some very careful space aerials from Thorn, but just able to find it there instead off of the combo. And uh, Bubba looking pretty good in this game too so far. Yeah, the double down to the Shoryu is absolutely vital. Getting the bounce just to get it off the menu. And yeah, Thorn's trying to find something in this menu that will help him out. But uh, so far, Bubble Watts has put on so much pressure and it's just tracking every landing. Does trade there does, and does not get hit by the Kaboom. Very lucky. Yeah, having like this extra space on the stage seems to be very beneficial. It's allowing Bubba to just kind of disengage, go back to that the other ledge and just avoid a lot of these projectiles that can be kind of hard to deal with close up. Yeah, and finding another Shoryu there. That was crazy, yeah. hitting the weak up tilt into a jab to reset and pull him back in. <laughs> yeah, that's terrifying. A re-grab, uh, no damage off of it, but it's already stacking up so much and three stock lead on him. Ready, like finally gets yeah. it with the up tilt though. Yeah, I do like the way that we're seeing a lot of this uh, side B at lower percent, so it's going to be a great combo tool for Ken. That's like one of the bigger differences between him, between him and Ryu. Ryu it, uses it more as a kill move, whereas Ken's using it as a combo tool. Yeah, and trying to use it to find it in, in there, but Thorn just jumping right over. But again, there's that shield pressure. I do love that immediate up the other shield, though, just avoiding that whole situation, because last time Bubba got to hit on the shield for a while, we saw basically a skittle from Thorn's shield. So. All right, Psych Up is online at 67%. You have to find a good hit. Oh, oh the S smash. 
Not gonna be enough. It's not enough. For not, I, where are they? <laughs> Flame slash and kills. Okay. Uh, Hero's gonna get a crit at 30 and this game's over. All right, awesome. What happened? <laughs> Oh, and the down air off of that? Just finds that. that too. Oh my gosh. The Nair down air taking that stock. Uh, had a little bit of a cutaway, but came back to the bubble when we were expecting anyway. So, okay, sure. Clean 2 0 lead for Bubba now. Yeah, that, that was very crisp and clear. So, uh, uh, we I got think the platform, like the bigger stage was super beneficial because um, those projectiles are hard to deal with closer up and you don't have a lot of space. But when you can just kind of take your step back. You could just jump over everything that, that Hero's throwing at you. So I think that extra space and having that platform to use was super beneficial. And it just seems like um, we're just having a hard time dealing with like Hero. the pace of the game. It's basically up to Baba, uh, Bubba to like decide how fast we're going, when he wants to approach, and just Great. has full control of everything right now. Yeah, Bubba's taking it slower, but then once they get that one hit of their confirmed, now all of a sudden you're in the Ken Blender, and yeah. it just feels so weird, but... I, one thing I want to see is if Thorn will kind of adjust to these like landing nares and uh, down airs that Bubble Watson is throwing out because they're leading into so many combos and like just shielding them is not enough. But a good flame slash there to start with the damage has the psych up early and another flame slash and another psych up. We just keep going back oh, and no! asleep. And good night. See ya. <laughs> yeah, that's a huge start for Thorn in this game already. But uh, here comes Bubba with the Ken combos. We'll see what he's got. Yeah, I think Thorn's doing a great job of playing super defensively. Those flame slashes were super beneficial for like guarding himself at the ledge and now uh, holding down this platform really well. Asleep, asleep again. again! We're going to bed! Oh my god! He needed a second nap. That's crazy and already Thorn with a crazy lead here. Somebody get this man some caffeine. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think it will help. <laughs> He's still sleeping. If we get another snooze kill this game. Ooh, okay. okay, the turnaround on that too. Finally finding that first stock off of Thorn, but um, Thorn in a very good position right now. Just has to be careful to avoid these high damage combos because uh, Ken can definitely take your stock very quickly, but I think using these projectiles defensively and throwing them out to stuff a lot of the grounded approaches that we're seeing from Thorn or, or um, from Bubba and like the jumps to a lot of the projectiles are spaced perfectly where it'll catch a grounded approach or just like, and no way! Again. <laughs> three for three? Seriously? Oh my gosh. With, <laughs> we we got to talk to someone. That menu was rigged. I, I don't know what to say. A I special did. input on your controller or something <laughs> to control what's on that menu. He's got a macro on like that second <laughs> yeah. C button. He's got a custom GameCube with it. Oh man, that's that's great uh, pulls right there to get all those snoozes into the smash attacks. Sure. But yeah, uh, one thing I'm noticing with Thorn in that game was immediately picking options out of the menu, yeah. like so quickly reading through it. And Bubble Watson couldn't keep pace, couldn't like keep track of what was going on the menu as well. Yeah. So it led to a lot of like just quick hits from Thorn there and allows them to take that game, get back into the set. Yeah, because Ken's using a lot of those um, those landing airs to get the combo started too. So if you throw out those projectiles, catching him jumping up before he gets the hitbox out, it's going to be super beneficial for getting that extra percent and also um, if you get the sleep as your projectile taking stocks too. Exactly, exactly. And yeah, so far, uh, Bubble Watch has already started off this set with a very solid combo game, but uh, Thorn's just getting these pushbacks and getting right back into the middle. Menu, gets the bang that doesn't get a hit off of it. And now you're off stage. Let's pull up this menu again. That's a great oh, coverage into a my down gosh. air. That was so good. I was not expecting the down air to finish it off. That was coverage of every set. Uh, we got some pop-ups. It looks like Worry just reversed 3 0 Nad. So great stuff from Worry. But uh, back into this set. Yeah, that uh, uh, the upbeat and the down air just covered everything. Tech, no tech, it didn't matter. You were going to yeah. get spiked. But finds that stock there, only sitting at 39% though. So this is still a, a pretty even game. Just has to sleep again. Really crit this time. To get in. Not, Not a, get crit. a crit. Okay. Oh my gosh. Would that have killed? Yes, at oh a thousand God. percent <laughs> charge crit at 40. Yeah, you would have been gone. Do not jump. Do not get slept again, <laughs> please. All right, catching the upbeat with the Nair, trying to find some way to get more damage here. But uh, Thorn using those upbeats very well to get out of the combo. That it's hitting on the platform is crazy. Right. The correct yeah. hit. And finally oh. gets a thwack kill. Uh, it's just every spell you think could kill. We're yeah. getting all of them right now. No, this is some great RNG. I'm going to make him a file a lottery ticket for me after this. This is insane. I was going to say, we're, go we're going to go on a little trip after this practice. Though. We're going to find somewhere. <laughs> Vegas, baby. <laughs> Almost got another snooze, too. Like, is on fire. This is just the, the hero game plan every time. Has oomph and psych up right now, so something. 
Ken Fear Factor right yeah. there. I'm terrified. But Ken can't really go off stage to like contest that either. It feels like the Uppy from Hero is just super strong at like finding those stage spikes. Oh my gosh, your shield. <laughs> that, that, that is just the classic. Psych up, oomph. Yeah, I'm trying to delete that or your stock. I do like that patience that we're seeing from Bubba where he like gets that hit and waits for the panic air dodge. Wasn't able to find the punish there, but it was super beneficial in game one. But yeah, it was oh, great stuff there. Yeah. Trying to get it another way. Throwing out all the smash tags. Does get the hit confirmed into the Shoryu. And now you're just one or two strings away. But does get the psych up. Just run up and do it. But not enough still. Okay. Bubba's still living. Yeah, I love that distance there. Just not having to worry about any of the, the quick options out of um, menu. But it's going to be hard to make it back. No way that hit. What? What? The very last little frame of the explosion taking it there. Unfortunate for Bubba. And now Thorn. One game away from the reverse 3-0. One yeah. game away from moving on. We gotta feel some pressure here. Yeah, that was crazy. Uh, it was for sure. And I, I'm interested to see what stages we do because they decided to run it back on the stage you just lost on. Like, okay, that's a decision. I mean, it was working yeah. out pretty well until uh, every single snooze was coming out, so. That was, yeah, that game didn't count. Like, it, it counted, but like, I don't know how you adapt from that other than just like say go next. Yeah, don't get hit by the, the snooze again, I guess. Shake a hand. And yeah, guess what? We're right back here, so hopefully more snoozes aren't coming out on this stage. I feel like a lot of the options on a menu are pretty laggy if you don't get hit by them. So I think those are like the opportunities for Ken to run in and find those heavy punishes. Okay, big damage there using that landing there and waiting for the projectile to come out first and then using the landing there on top, just jumping right over it. Whereas I feel like Thorn was doing a really good job of catching the jumps first and then throwing out the the hitboxes with the projectiles, but... I will say Thorn's going to have to start being a little more careful with the shield because getting up at ledge, if you don't have that full shield, uh, Ken just has that basically guaranteed shield break, and then all of a sudden your stock's gone at 30. You have to watch yourself fall, too. That's the worst part. Yeah, because he just pushes fall. you, yeah. and it's like, oh, okay, <laughs> I'll wait it out. Let me take a sip of my water. But strong, fanboy, sure he's taking it. And here we go. The Fort Wayne crowd is coming alive for this game five. So far, yeah, another Nair sending back on stage. Does get a shield on the Kaboom. That whack is scary. And you can definitely tell that Bubba feels very comfortable at the uh, the platform, too. So I think just throwing out that Nair locks down that space for Thorn. and makes it really hard for Bubba to try to land. Ooh, but using the focus there as an adaptation instead. Using the focus specifically to get off the platform, too, is very great. See, that's a situation there. F smash. Oh, oh my gosh. The crowd is living. There is an uproar in the venue. And Bubba wants to... Oh, my oh. God. Girl. No, stop, we don't need to sleep anymore. The sun's still out. Oh, that's a great side B to land there. And the Kaboom is going to get the... I don't get it. The booms and Kabooms, I don't understand how those hit, like, on the very last Don't frame. get me started. We'll talk about it after the set. That's my least favorite move in the game. I get hit by it no matter where it is on stage. It's like, okay. Like, I'm sitting here. Oh, another one. Oh, doesn't get the crit. That would have been a game changer. But does get yeah. the psych up now. And oh, Ooh. goes right under it with the... Oh my god. Yeah. Double Nairs trying to get the downer. Is this enough? Ooh, that was a great jump away by Thorn. Scary yeah. situation. Just not uh, choosing to not overextend with a psych up on line two. Definitely a smart decision there. Gets the parry using the up out of shield. Seems like a great get off me option. Especially when Ken is so up in your face. Just using that gives you time to disengage and set up that space that you need in order to throw out these, uh, these menu options. Oh, with the no. stage spike two. Wasn't ready with the tech that time. Missing the tech two. And now you're in scary zone. <laughs> but I'm sure you will do it. Bubba Watso prevents the reverse 3-0 and is moving on in this bracket. Fort Wayne coming alive. Basically running on the stage for him. <laughs> yeah. So excited for their boy. Great win from him, and he'll be moving on. Wow. All right. That's a scary situation. Once you get to that last stock against here, it's like, okay, what pull is he going to get? But Bubba Watso just did not let it happen. Yeah. Moving yeah. on in this bracket, too. Honestly, they both played fantastically that game with all of the sleeps. Just so great with those.